When using Print and Cut to apply a photograph to something like vinyl to cut with the Cricut Explorer, a lot of times you may want to round the corners of the image just so it looks a little bit smoother rather than just cutting the sharp corners as you see on my screen here. And I'll show you in Photoshop how you can accomplish that. So I've already opened a JPEG file, which is a portrait. And one of the things I'm going to do is unlock my background layer. You don't always have to do this, but I like to do that by right clicking on it and choosing layer from background. And as you can see, it gets rid of the little lock and allows me to work with it a little easier. And so next, I'll come over here to my drawing tool and I'll hold down on it and I'll choose the rounded rectangle tool. And it doesn't matter what color you select down here on your uh, color palette because uh, you're just going to use this temporarily. And up at the top you'll have a radius and that is how much of a curve you want on your corners. And you may have to adjust this for every photograph or image you work with depending on the resolution. So what I'd like to do is set it at 50 and then draw the shape and see if it's rounded enough for me. That one is not as round as I would like it, so I'm going to undo that by pressing Control Z. And I'm going to increase that, and we'll go up to 100 pixels. Then we'll draw it again. And I think that looks good. So now that I have that additional layer in the shape, I'm going to right-click on that layer and rasterize the layer. And then we'll select our Magic Wand tool and then click in that square and you see the little dotted line that it puts all the way around it. Then over here on our layers panel I will hide that layer and then I'll select the photograph layer and we can go edit, cut, and then we can go edit, paste and put it back in again and then we can hide that layer that was the border and now you see I've rounded the image and if I save this as a PNG, it's going to be a transparent background, as you can see by the little checkerboard around the outside. Sometimes I like to apply a little border around the image. So to do that, we'll go back to our selection tool. We'll right-click on the layer and select Blending Options. And on the Blending Options, we'll go down to the bottom and select Stroke and turn that on. And will select inside. You can do the stroke on the inside or the outside of the image. And we can adjust the size. And we can also adjust the color. And I think I'll make this one white. And then I'll save this as a PNG file. Next we'll go into Design Space and we'll upload the image and choose Basic Upload and we'll tell it that it's a complex image because it does have a lot of shading and detail in it. And as you can see it will import with the transparent background with a white border around it so this will be your cut and you can see the red line showing where your edge is going to cut and so now we'll insert that into a project and now that we've inserted the image we will click the Go button and we'll get a preview of the print and cut. And of course, like I said, it will cut a white border around this image the way I have it set up currently. If you're interested in my support services or consulting services, please visit my website at www.troyyoung.com for most current pricing information. Additionally, you can go to patreon.com slash troyyoung to help support my channel. Hopefully my video has been helpful to you. If it has been, please subscribe to my channel and by all means, please share my videos.